In the last few months, we've asked you to nominate special women in the community for our Remarkable Women series. Today, we kick off this series with Colleen Steckel. For 30 years, she's lived with a debilitating disease. Now she wants to help others with the same illness. Our Katie Augustine reports. It's a Facebook group connecting thousands across the world with something in common, a disease called ME. Day to day, it's um, mostly I do support group stuff and I do advocacy and I do that mainly from my bed with my laptop. Colleen Steckel runs the ME Facebook group. ME is myalgic encephalomyelitis. It affects every system of the body. Imagine you have the flu with the hangover after running a marathon. That's how Steckel and a million other Americans, men, women, and children feel every single day. I don't leave my home very often. Um, when I do, um, I pay for it. Steckel got her diagnosis 30 years ago. Over time, I learned a lot of things about how to take care of myself. And in doing that, I came across a lot of other people who are going on dealing with a lot of the same things. She's sharing what she's learned. My first love is helping patients. She started by writing little notes. And I would say, well, these kind of things helped me. In 2014, she found a new way to reach more people. So using the support group on Facebook allowed me to take all of that stuff I'd been sharing one-on-one -on -one with people. I have tips on coping with lots of symptoms. Then there is a great deal of information here that the patients can use. I have cheat sheets you can hand to your doctor. Doctors have a hard time diagnosing and treating ME. Very few doctors understand it. Very few doctors have any idea how to approach it. Bringing us to another hat is the resources page. Steckel wears. And that's meadvocacy.org. This is the primer. And that's a national advocacy group that is fighting for full recognition of the disease myalgic encephalomyelitis. Emmy gets lumped in with other diseases like chronic fatigue syndrome, but it's not the same. And if the doctors were fully aware of the information that is out there, they wouldn't be making these terrible mistakes like telling patients to exercise. Telling a patient with Emmy to exercise is like telling a person with cancer to go smoke cigarettes. With ME, the more you do, the sicker you get. And we call that post-exertion neuroimmune exhaustion, uh, basically uh, a crash. And it can take weeks or even months to recover from a crash. Steckel has low to moderate ME. This isn't an attitude thing. But others have it much worse. This is literally the muscles will no longer respond to request to move. So she does what she does for those severe patients. I have to care and I and I want to make a difference. I want these people who should not have to be suffering like this to stop suffering. In Washington, Katie Augustine, nine on your side.